we find another enemy? Where you found Oliver. You mean, on the other railway. Yes, I'm looking for a Bluebell engine. And Rusty explained everything. I'd like to help. But these days, it's only diesels that go there. Then Rusty decided. So that's where I'll go. Rusty is the go. Take care. Rusty told the driver all about the plan. And that night, he came back to the shed. The manager says he'll make a home for a Bluebell engine if you find one. Right, said Rusty. We'll find one tomorrow. It took them all of the next day to travel to the other railway. To travel to the other railway. Darkness fell and the cold wind blew. He plucked up courage. I'm a shed and sidings inspection diesel. Uh, ha had you any engines in the shed? No, none. Rusty rallied again. Uh, th then uh, what about the sidings? One. We have one. Rusty grew braver still. Th then I'll just go and inspect. A small engine with a tall funnel stood sad and alone in the shadowy siding. His driver was huddled in the cab, keeping him company. Excuse me, said Rusty. Oh, Bluebell. The engine looked startled. Yes, uh, Bluebells are beautiful. Then you're soon going to see lots of them, because I'm getting you out of here. Everyone worked fast. It was difficult. Stepney had a good head of steam. Engineer agreed to be Stepney's fireman. So off they set, past the fleet of brooding lines of diesel. Where is he going? Just down the line, replied Rusty. coat of paint, said the manager. His driver was delighted. You lucky old engine. You've been saved by the Bluebell Railway. And my friend Rusty. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Rusty. Now the little engine is as happy as can be and helps all the passengers who visit at Bluebell time. His name is Stephanie, but everyone calls him the 